of us suffer from this. And if it hasn't hit you yet, it will. The eyes of aging. But will this cutting edge procedure put an end to reading glasses forever? We take four very tiny little implants and we insert them into each of these tunnels. I have to ask, how are things with the reading glasses? I don't use them anymore. Today on The Doctors. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. When it comes to fixing your paired body parts, the eyes cannot be overlooked. 90 million people in the United States have presbyopia or difficulty reading due to age. My name is Peggy, I'm 54 years old. I've had great eyesight all my life. When I was headed towards 50, I started to notice a slight difference and over the years it progressed to where I couldn't read um, without reading glasses, I couldn't thread a needle. I've started reading on my phone and over the last couple of years it's enlarged so much to where I just have a couple of words per page. I'm hoping that this procedure will allow me to get to where I was before I'm kind of tired of it. I, I don't want to see that way anymore. I want to see like I've been used to seeing for the first 50 years of my life. Ophthalmologist Dr. Brian boxer Walkler is doing an experimental procedure that can help retrain the eye muscles, making people like Peggy hopefully never need their eyeglasses ever again. Welcome to the show. Good to Thank have you. you. Thank you. So tell, this is an experimental procedure. What, what are you doing and how is it affecting someone like Peggy's eyes? The first step that we do is we peel back very delicately the outer membrane over the eye and it doesn't cover the skin, it's just the white of the eye. And the second step is make four little tunnels here in different segments. And then the third step is we take these four very tiny little implants and we insert them into each of these tunnels around. And these implants, like I said, they're very tiny. You can see one here. It's about the size of a grain of rice. And then what the implants do, though, is that they delicately lift up on the outer layer of the eye, the white part of the eye called the sclera. That allows the muscles underneath to focus on the internal lens again, like focusing a camera, and that's how it improves near vision. And this is exper experimental at this stage, right? We are still in the FDA clinical trial. We're in phase three, but I'm very excited about the results, and I'm very hopeful that this will be available and FDA approved at some point in the near future. Well, Peggy actually went and had this procedure done. Let's take a look at what happened. <laughs> I need to take off this membrane called the conjunctiva that covers the white part of the eye. I'm gonna be making four different tunnels. Each of the four tunnels are gonna go in the corners. We're measuring the length of the tunnel. It's going through the white part of the eye called the sclera, and tunnel length is 4.0 millimeters. Great, now we're gonna get ready to insert the implant into the tunnel. It's actually a two-part implant. So we've got a tubular guide, and then there's a plastic housing, and then at the end of the plastic tube is the implant, and we're pulling it through, and the tube is gonna slide off the tip. Looks a little like a wishbone, so there's a space here in between, and there's little edges that pop out that act like graspers, so they won't slip out of the tunnel, but to make sure this doesn't get compressed and slip out, we have this little spacer that clicks in and make sure that the implant will not slide out and stay in there. Now we're gonna measure the distance. The second measurement is also 4.0. So we have one implant in, looks great. So now we're on to the last implant. Okay, so now all four implants are in and what we're gonna do now is put the membrane back over everything. We're gonna put some little tiny stitches on it. These will come out in about a month. Okay, we're all done. Everything looks good. Went perfect. So it's been about two months since Peggy had that procedure. She's here with us today. So I have to ask, how are things with the reading glasses? I don't use them anymore. I very nice. I've put them aside and I'm very grateful. <laughs> and, and 
I was asking you, Brian, is, is it immediate? Because did you not have to retrain your eye muscles a little bit to? It was, um, the, after the first eye, I saw some difference. Um, I had them done one at a time. After the second eye, it was immediate. I could read instantly, though, without, wow. without glasses. Hey, we wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing with us. Brian, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming pleasure on. Pleasure indeed. And next up, an innovative way to fix one last paired body part. Stick around.